Ahoj, já vás zdravím. Vítejte na mém kanále Czech by Zuzka, kde vám pomocí angličtiny vysvětluju českou gramatiku. In today's video we are going to have a look at uh, the pronoun to. But not just what it means, but how it works in a sentence and how the word order affects it. Sometimes when I have lessons with my students and we speak Czech, they ask me, what is the difference between to je pravda or je to pravda? Like, is it the same? Yes, it is the same. Quite the same. <laughs> There is a subtle difference. For instance, to je pravda means that is true. And je to pravda means it is true. I don't know if you can notice it in English. To je pravda, that is true. That what you said is true. Je to pravda is, it is true. Or a simple question, what is it? Usually when I teach, I ask, co je to? What is it? But you could also ask, co to je? Which means, what is that? Or another example, to nechci vědět versus nechci to vědět. To nechci vědět is that I don't want to know. I don't want to know that. Nechci to vědět. I don't want to know it. So how does it work? Is there a rule or is it just random? Well, when we look at the pronoun to, the interesting fact is that it has more functions that just being translated as it, as a personal pronoun, referring to something neuter. It is also a demonstrative pronoun. That means when we point at something, we also use to. For instance, if I was teaching you vocabulary, things that you can see around here, I would be pointing. Co to je? What is that? Co to je? And I could also say, to je řeka. To je řeka. That is a river. And I could also say, je to řeka. Je to řeka, and it would mean it is a river. Just like when I say je to pravda, it is true. And another interesting thing is that we can use it both for singular and plural. So I could ask, co je to? What is it? Even though I'm holding two things. And then I would answer, to jsou pampelišky. Those are dandelions. Or I could say, jsou to pampelišky. They are dandelions. To je pampeliška. That's a dandelion. Ah, je to pampeliška. It's a dandelion. What else do you want? I could say, to jsou moji kamarádi. Those are my friends. For plural, to jsou moji kamarádi. Or I could say, jsou to moji kamarádi. They are my friends. Jsou to moji kamarádi where to would just act as a personal pronoun. I'm gonna walk around here and I'm gonna point at some things and I'm gonna speak in Czech. I'll be using to naturally and focus on the position of to in the sentence. Jdeme na to. To je strom. To jsou stromy. To je větev. Co to je? <laughs> to je taška, to je moje taška. To je můj sešit. To jsou moje poznámky. To je řeka. Je to poměrně klidná řeka. Je to poměrně klidná řeka. Hm. A tohle? Víte, co to je? To je cihla. Cihla. Myslím, že to bude stačit. I'm going to point at the same things that I showed you and you will tell me how to say that in Czech. You will basically repeat what I said. So I said, that's a tree. To je strom. Those are trees. To jsou stromy. That's a branch. To je větev. That's a bag. <laughs> to je taška. That's my bag. To je moje taška. Those are my notes. 
to jsou moje poznámky. That's my notebook. To je můj sešit. That's a river. To je řeka. It is a relatively calm river. Je to. Here we switch it. Je to poměrně klidná řeka. And I also want to find this brick. And do you know what that is? Víte, co to je? That's a brick. To je cihla. Back to the board. So let's take a look at this again. When we have a verb and then to, it would be translated as it, like je to pravda, it is true, but we could also use a different pronoun, like he, she or they for plural too. So to moji kamarádi, they're my friends. Je to moje kamarádka, she's my friend. But when we use to and the verb, then it is used for pointing for demonstrative pronoun or for referring something we just said previously. To je pravda, that's true. And those, to jsou moji kamarádi, those are my friends. And one thing that I would like to point out, mention briefly, is that to je, followed by usually a noun or an adjective, also means what a, for example, when you hear, oh, to je ale otrava, what a drag. Literally, it means that is a drag, but it's like, what a drag. When you add ale, it's even more like, oh, to je ale otrava. Or, hmm, to je ale sranda. What fun. To je sranda. That's fun. What a fun. In colloquial Czech, we also use to, and it's not exactly translatable to English. Somebody could ask, co to máš v kapse? Ah. To mám pampelišky. Co to máš v kapse? What do you got in there in the pocket? To mám pampelišky. Those are dandelions. Like, I have dandelions. And to is there just as, as a sign of colloquial check. That's one other thing which I am not going to focus on here. But let me know if you are interested in this kind of sentences as well. Maybe I can look at it next time. A little exercise. I wrote four expressions, but we have two possibilities. On the left side we have to plus verb. To je. To byla. To je. And on the right hand side we have to and the verb before. Nevěděl jsem to. Je to. Byla to. Je to. As I said, here it would be translated as that, or those, and here it is more like it, or he, or she. So I'm going to say an English sentence and you will tell me what would be the best translation to Czech. Imagine a situation you learn a new Czech word, nástupiště, platform, and you say, ah, I didn't know that, that's useful, I didn't know that. Which one do you use? Do you say, hmm, to jsem nevěděl, or do you say, nevěděl jsem to. I didn't know that, to jsem nevěděl, to jsem nevěděl. Or you're impressed with somebody's work and you say, wow, thank you so much, děkuju. And that person answers, no worries, it's my job, it's my job. Would they say, to je moje práce, or je to moje práce. It's my job. It's my job. Je to moje práce. A woman comes to visit you and she leaves and then your friends ask, Oh, who was that? Kdo to byl? And you answer, Ah, that was my aunt. That was my aunt. Do you say, To byla moje teta? Or do you say, Byla to moje teta? That was my aunt. To byla moje teta. Because you're pointing at that situation, that person, you're taking a hike, you are in the forest and suddenly you go out and you see this beautiful view in front of you. And you say, wow, that's beautiful. What a beautiful sight in a way. What do you say? Do you say, oh, to je krása. Or do you say, oh, je to krása. 
Well, that's beautiful. What a beautiful sight. To je krása. To je krása. In colloquial Czech, it's more likely you will encounter this word order, to and the verb. Because very often we point at something either physically or we refer to a situation that just happened. I want to show you one more thing. I'll take you to my computer and we are going to analyze some sentences from the Czech corpus. Let's look at four different fragments from uh, the Czech corpus. They are all from a magazine where they were interviewing actors. So this is an actress speaking. The first one is kind of long, but I wanted you to see the context. So I am going to read the Czech part and then you can read the, the English translation. Dubbing z toho vyšel jako psychicky nejnáročnější herecká disciplína. Celou dobu jste v napětí, musíte udržet koncentraci, je to vyčerpávající. Ale taky je to práce jako každá jiná. Takže když dabujete často, získáváte zkušenosti a přejde vám to do krve. We have to three times. Je to vyčerpávající. It's exhausting, because you see the verb and then to. It's exhausting. Je to vyčerpávající. Ale taky je to práce. Je to práce, the same thing. But it's also a job, like any other. Přejde vám to do krve. Přejde vám to, again we have verb and then to. Přejde vám to do krve. It gets in your blood. So here we translate it as to. Let's see another sentence. Když cítím křivdu, jsem smutná a naštvaná. A jsem schopná to i říct lidem do očí. Here we have to right in the middle. To goes with říct, okay, to say that. To i říct lidem do očí. So to is before the verb, so to say that to people's faces. If we had jsem schopná říct to lidem do očí, it would be to say it to people's faces. Let's see these other two fragments. V seriálu Linka jste hrála oběť domácího násilí. To byla těžká role. That, that's her response. To byla těžká role. We have to before the verb. So that was a tough role. And the last one. Už když jsem si přečetla scénář, říkala jsem si, že to nebude jednoduché. OK. So we see that to is before the verb, but there is a že. Že sometimes changes the word order. This is actually the only way. If you say, že nebude to jednoduché, it sounds a little off. This would be the combination of že and the verb to be. This is because of the combination of že and it, že to. We prefer this pronoun to be at the beginning. So we could translate it as, I thought that it would not be easy. If we somehow wanted to say, that that it would not be easy uh, it's not possible to do <laughs> okay that's all from me to je ode mě všechno to je ode mě všechno mějte se moc krásně a uvidíme se zase za týden ciao ciao